Uh, but some more breaking news as well, as we've been on top of all throughout the afternoon, an active search for a gunman who shot a San Diego police officer. Fox 5's Zara Barker has been live at the scene all day. She joins us now from Choyas Creek, where police gave an update in the last hour. Zara, what have you learned? Andrew, Kathleen, in just the last few minutes, we have learned that police do have one person in custody they believe could be related to this incident. They say this person that has been apprehended matched the description in some way, but not entirely. So they say right now they are vetting that person and seeing what their involvement may have been in this officer involved shooting that happened earlier today around 11 o'clock. I'm going to take a step out of the way so you can see this active scene that is still going on because that search is still going on at this hour as they are making sure that they are looking through every canyon and area, even a homeless encampment, making sure that they can find the person responsible for shooting a San Diego police officer. A few minutes ago, we also learned what led up to this shooting. Officers say the situation started when an officer was behind a white truck, noticed it was stolen a few days ago from this area. That officer tried to do a traffic stop. The driver got out and started running. The officer chased him. They went into an apartment complex area where the man pulled out a gun and shot the officer. Officials say this is the worst call you can get. You know, it's the last thing you want to hear. Uh, we're very fortunate because our officer is going to be OK, um, but we're not fortunate because it's, it's uh, another instance of someone shooting at a police officer. It's uh, not the first time it's happened. It's not the first time I've investigated something like this. You can see that we devoted an extraordinary amount of resources. Uh, not just because of the severity of it, but just because, again, uh, I, my thought process is if someone will do this to an officer, what will they do to the public? A San Diego police officer is recovering in the hospital as more than 100 law enforcement personnel search for the shooter. The officer was shot around 11 Thursday morning on 5200 Whiteman in the Choyas Creek neighborhood. A countywide call for help went out and every available officer responded, including sheriffs from San Diego County, California Highway Patrol and Coronado PD. Roads are closed while officers search the area between 52nd and 54th Street, north to University and south to Ogden. Hector Perez works nearby and says he heard the commotion. I was working and then I start here like two, three cops. And I said, OK, he's, you know, like kind of every day we hear a lot of cops here. But then I started hearing like 10 cops and then 20 and then more and more and more. And it was like, so what's happening? Some, something's happened. Officials have been asking all residents in the Choyas Creek area to stay inside and shelter in place. Our crews heard flashbangs nearby as the hunt continues for the shooter, which police have described as a Hispanic man in his 20s, 150 pounds, bald and last seen wearing a gray sweatshirt. Yeah, it's kind of dangerous, you know. I got little granddaughters and I got, you know, son, kids, you know, and all my team getting, getting shot, I mean, getting hurt. You likely can see behind me to this large police office or police presence that has been spanning several blocks going on five hours now. There's also canine units, SWAT team officers and negotiation or crisis response teams. They say they are staging in this area along with an ambulance just in case that this situation does become a barricaded person situation. They say they are prepared and can respond accordingly. Uh, but again, this is going on five hours now. They do have one person in custody. They're just not sure if that is the right person, but they are currently evaluating that situation. So hopefully we can have another update here shortly. But that's the very latest live in Choyas Creek, Zara Barker, Fox 5 News.